Hey guys, this is my new incubator for all my queen ants and all the ants that are in the founding stage. This incubator is controlled by the ink bird, which has a thermostat on it, which can measure the inside, the temperature on the inside, and uh, all the wires run into the side of the refrigerator. All right, these are all my founding colonies at the moment. Here's the heater. Here's a fan. The heater is controlled by the ink bird, and the fan runs at all times. The refrigerator is also connected to the ink bird, so if it gets too hot, the refrigerator kicks on. And the thermostat is at the very top because that's where it gets the hottest. These are the current queens I have right now. Uh, four of them are Campanata CaO2, and all the rest are Myrmecostis or honeypot ants. Here's one of the Campanatus CaO2s. So you can see she's pretty big and she got a couple eggs in there. Here's one of my honey pot queens. This one is a Myrmecostis testaceous. You can see she's got a couple eggs in there already. She's doing all right. Here we got another testaceous queen. She's got a couple eggs. And one more testaceous queen. This one's a little bit bigger than the rest. It's probably hard to tell, but she's got a couple eggs right there. Alright, right here I got a Pogonomics Ragusos queen. So she got some eggs in the back. But I've had this queen for about six months. I misplaced her. And found her again and she's doing pretty good made sure she ate and got some honey so hopefully she has babies soon all right this queen is another honey pot queen and she's pretty interesting because she has that growth of some sort something's eating her alive pretty much so i kept it on there more as just an experiment i think she's gonna die no matter what but we'll see We'll see if that thing hatches into something or if it just eats her alive and then dies. But it should be interesting. She doesn't really move around much. I check on it to see if the growth is growing and it's definitely growing. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my new incubator. Uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. The whole setup ran me about $200.00. And I got everything brand new. So you guys could probably do the same thing. Maybe even cheaper. Thanks guys.